Hi, welcome to another Fresh Egg Short. Today we're going to be discussing the essential aspects of SEO, focusing on discoverability and content. So, what does being discoverable actually mean? Well, uh, it refers to the process of search engines, not just Google, but predominantly Google, indexing your web pages. Um, Google commands about 91% of global traffic, making it a primary traffic focus for most. It's not to say that uh, other search engines like DuckDuckGo, Ecosia, or Bing are not important. It's just that Google far dominates the landscape. So how can we ensure our content appears predominantly in search results? Well, we're going to talk about web crawling in a hugely simplified term uh, terminology, but um, we're going to talk about that first before we start talking about the things that can impact it. The process of web crawling, uh, you can imagine it as discovering what's out there on the internet in its simplest terms. Uh, this involves sending snippets of code to explore the vast online landscape. Uh, this is process performed by entities known as spiders or bots or crawlers. Uh, the most famous ones are Googlebot and Google Mobilebot. Um, these traverse the internet, identifying links between pages and websites and moving from one to the other, effectively spidering across, a, across the web and following the links between and within websites. They then report back with this information, identifying useful content and placing it into an index. The index is then organized and that's where we start talking about the algorithm. Essentially, though, it's a database of websites sorted and classified into a system that allows for easy searching and retrieval. It's a dynamic system that gets updated regularly, which is why you'll see position changes almost daily. Um, ensuring, but this is to ensure that the most popular pages are crawled frequently to provide the latest versions. A really good example to visualize that that kind of process is around news websites. They're crawled continually because Google knows they aim to deliver the most up to date news. Uh, in contrast, some pages buried deep on your site might be rarely crawled uh, due to infrequent updates on those pages and their location within your site's folder structure being less prominent. So let's delve into the two strands of SEO, and that is discoverability or indexing and ranking around content. So the visibility, uh, technical hinges on Google's ability to be able to find all your content. It also involves making your site user and bot friendly, ensuring that both can kind of easily navigate around your site. Uh, some really common issues are around crawl traps where bots get stuck, uh, things like redirect loops, poor site architecture, uh, making it difficult for Google to understand the content hierarchy on your website, um, issues with tags such as a no index tag on your homepage, which is a pretty big no-no. Um, there's lots of considerations around JavaScript implementation and the speed at which Google can process that kind of information, as well as things like orphaned content, which is content that isn't properly linked to, making it harder for bots and users to be able to access. On the ranking strand of SEO, uh, we really are talking about the factors that can influence where you position in search engine results. Content is primary, primarily uh, the kind of thing that is focused on in terms of EAT, which is, sorry, double EAT now, which is expertise, experience, authority, and trustworthiness. Uh, is your content relevant and trustworthy? Does it answer search queries effectively? Those are questions you should be asking yourself when you're reviewing your content. Is it unique? Uh, is your content not simply a rehash of existing information? Have you got your own experience and expertise woven into it? 
Uh, backlinks, that's another thing that is a hot topic in SEO usually, which is are other websites linking to your content and are those websites strong? You know, we talk about Goldilocks links almost from um, the BBC or government websites that can point really strong signals that this content is good. Um, is your content up to date? Is it uh, factually up to date? you know these go into the uh, your money your life topics so there's a lot to consider there um from google's perspective about how they can uh position you and your content above or below others is it trustworthy uh this the the trust is the kind of overarching umbrella term used to encapsulate eat um but is it is your content written by experts and based on actual experience is the is the kind of key thing there. So in conclusion, really, there are some fundamental aspects that influence how your content is discovered and then ranked. Some real basic things to kind of think about when you're creating new content or designing your website. There's loads of nuance to all of it. This is a really basic intro, uh, but it should give you some ideas around uh, what, why and how uh, you can improve your discoverability and visibility. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions or you'd like us to cover anything else in more depth, then let us know. Thanks. Mm -hmm.